Now that you're back in Scotland, oh. is it the winter night? I absolutely you? love it. I love layering any winter clothes. So <laughs> as long as you have all of that, it's fine. Multiple scarves as well. So. It is. It's yeah. layering. I remember when I moved to East Lothian, someone said, you've got to wear Joining me to share her story and tell, talk about the fundraising page that she is launching as of today and tomorrow. Uh, you caring. Tori has the task of raising $218,000. You know, it's it's an it's an incredible thing to sit opposite this young woman and know that a she's willing to, you know, she's been thinking of every way that she can to raise this money personally, and has has then embarked on this and is also, you know, fully aware of what she's going to be undertaking and, and the recuperation. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm actually a huge Elvis fan. It started when um I started with my job. I did a, an article on Elvis mm -hmm. and finding about him. I actually, as you said, obsession. I got obsessed. And <laughs> obsessed with his. He uh, was a very rare soul, actually, yeah. and finding out all about his life. And wow, that was a beautiful song uh, by Casey Musgrove's "Follow Your Arrow." When when you picked that one, because that was one of Tory's picks, I was listening to that, and that line, you know, f you know, follow your arrow wherever you point it, follow it, because you're down if you do, you're down if you don't. Yep. You know, it's like other. Somebody said to me years ago, Bernie, what other people think of you is none of your business. And that song kind of sums that up. It's like it's such an energy depleting, you know, it's just energy depleting to worry about what people are thinking of you and, and their their opinions and everything else. And because whatever, someone's always going to have a conflicting opinion. Yes. Um, and we were just talking there. It strikes me that clearly Elvis Presley didn't, in some areas of his life, musically, he trusted his intuition. But in other areas, he didn't, and that caused him a lot of suffering. How yes. much is your intuition? How much do you see that? I think that's what's gotten me through this journey, and um, I think trusting that inner voice. Mm -hmm. And and when life can get so hectic, and you've got think diagnoses, life, work, and when everything's kind of coming down in you, sometimes it is to try and tune that all out and and listen to that wee inner voice that is always there and never leaves you. It's just whether you're, you're able to kind of decompress and, and look for that. And I think intuition is absolutely key. It's definitely a learning curve. I think I've um, always been very, I don't know, yeah, intuitive or empathetic. I'm always thinking probably too much. That's probably one of my issues is that I think too much, but listening is very good, and especially with this whole journey and, and hearing no so many times. And mm -hmm. even up to last year when I'm still, it's a constant fight and, and sometimes that can be completely exhausting. So mm -hmm. uh, intuition is, is essential to keep afloat really. And um, just knowing that it's gonna be okay. And, and I think that voice can, can help with that. And also accepting when it's not, cause it's not all going to be positive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you talked about you've, you yeah. have intuition comes back and, and knowing that's been a big th thing for me this year is um, when to surrender and mm. not when to, but when it happens, it's okay. It's mm -hmm. going to happen, mm -hmm. but you can always get back up again. Mm -hmm. Sometimes yeah. it takes longer than others. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so when you have surrendered, was there, because for me, surrender has been essential. Yes. Oh, yes. Know, and it's like, it's been, it's always like, that's when the cavalry came in. I described it, you know, when I surrendered, it was like, Oh, I see. I wasn't. I was trying to do this on my own. Yeah, and, and that I kind of goes back to what I was saying earlier about having a poker face. And mm -hmm. like you said, everybody has a mask. Yes, but sometimes many. you can't always wear that mm -hmm. mask. I mean, it's. I've learned. I, I don't know what it's like to not be in pain. Um, mm -hmm. I really can't remember. So, um, accepting that that's okay. I'm going to feel down sometimes, or it's going to be tougher than others. But knowing to surrender is actually is very liberating because mm -hmm. you're only human, mm -hmm. and like you said, you never know who's going to step in. There's mm -hmm. there's amazing people out there, and um, when you do that, sometimes that's what you need for the journey to mm -hmm. to go in the right direction. Um, yeah, it's just a part oh, of it's life. A gorgeous song. Oh, I know. It is just follow. It is that, that's literally you know that's like your mantra. Follow your arrow, and what is it? Wherever you point it, just wherever it points, that's you just commit to following that, yep. and just, and just with one, it. one, one, just keep shooting. One, I'm sitting here in the studio with the wonderful Tori Chalmers, who is. Uh, undergoing, uh, hopefully in a very short space of time, depending if she gets this money raised, uh, a double uh, brain operation, brain surgery. And so if you want to support her and you want to find out about it, you can find Tori on Facebook. She is um, 
It's T O R I Chalmers. Yep. We'll share it with the after the feed after the show, and you think, gosh. Uh, such and such or an idea has popped into your head please just let us know and let Tori know and just share it and, you know any idea any any feedback any any information would be wonderful to share and it's it's incredible how when everyone sort of just contributes their idea their energy their support their encouragement their money it, it will all make a, a massive difference next song. <laughs> you've always got to have a bit of fun I think yeah this one it can't help but make me smile. Wonderful. Well, let's get her playing. And it is a Tuesday morning, so, you know, yeah, the girls just want to have fun. Thanks, <laughs> Rory. How are you feeling? How's it? Because one of the things you say yeah. is that on a day-to-day -day basis, you don't know how you're going to feel. So. Exactly. I'm, I'm so happy to be here. I'm so <laughs> grateful. And I think definitely things like this will get a bit of adrenaline. Um, so, like yeah. I said, that goes back to that poker face. So when I get back, then I'll, <laughs> then I'll feel the extra pain yeah. and things. Um, yeah. But it's just part of very well accustomed to it now yeah so. yeah and that, that is one of the things that people who anyone that's dealing with a you know physical pain or physical challenge or recovering in any way uh, they expend so much energy you know being around other people it can be energizing yes. but you have to be very aware that you know that you you sort of serve from a full cup and that you make sure that you are not giving out energy or being yeah. drained by well i don't know if you're aware it's interesting the spoon theory okay have you heard of that no never right so i found out it was actually a hashtag which is called spoony uh -huh. so i was like what is the spoony thing a lot of people would put it and it's for people um i think it's young people but it can be anyone with chronic conditions sure and it was comes from a girl on the blog one time was trying to explain to her friend about her disorder yeah and the friend will said well no I don't get it and so I think they're in a restaurant and the girl said right I have 14 spoons and the person thought oh this is fun and each spoon is worth your time so say washing your hair in the morning that's gonna cost a spoon mm -hmm. going to lunch that's gonna cost a spoon going to work so the morning that might be three spoons yeah. so you've only got so many spoons for a day how are you gonna allocate these spoons mm -hmm. bearing in mind if you use all of them the day before you might not have as many for the next day yeah so it's a good way to explain to people uh, the spoon theory and mm -hmm. to do with energy and things and I think sometimes uh, especially with invisible things if someone can have something to look at like even if it's spoons mm -hmm. It's a good way to, to explain because, mm -hmm. of course, people aren't going to know unless you feel it. And that's part of the hard thing of the communication barrier in that sense. Um, because a lot of it can do spinal cord damage and nerve damage, it really depends on the patient. Um, I know for a fact with CCI pain, they prescribe the neck collar. But a lot of patients, I'd say actually a, a good amount, um, try and stay away from pain medication because I've heard before, I've been told that they could give you heroin and it's not going to touch the pain. Um, so I, I am on um, pain medication and I still feel an extreme amount. Um, however, it will take the edge off so I can just cope throughout the day. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's about making life changes. You don't necessarily want to, but you have to. Mm -hmm. Going out, I mean, it would just floor me. So at mm -hmm. least now I can kind of be literally horizontal or wearing all my transformer outfits, like my neck brace and my wrist splints and uh, compression socks. Well, oh, so, yeah. Wow. So I have that and my ice packs and also compression socks. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't realize for so many years that that's what I needed um, and ha have my legs elevated too. So mm -hmm. all these contraptions so have been a, a recent discovery and they do make it a bit easy, easier. Mm. So I bet you do watch the um, the uh, adventure movies and be like thinking you want to get yeah. in touch with Tony Stark. It's yeah. like, I need that Tony He's Stark. He's my guy. <laughs> Yes. Talk to us about this one. Oh, it's one of those ones, um, yeah, just if, if you're on a road trip, um, although I can't really do those anymore, but it just makes me laugh. There's something about country, it's the story, and I think being a writer, I appreciate the words and I appreciate the, the narrative that goes on. You just, you can't make it up, and it, <laughs> you've got to have a pre appreciation for this. And this one, I always laugh if you've had a job you didn't like or just something to sing, how do you like me now, or yeah. I should have been a cowboy. <laughs> totally. he, he just nails it, I think. Oh, totally. Yeah. Here we go. Rory, you have that strength, courage and wisdom right inside of you. So it's, uh, I, I, honestly, folks, if you could be in the studio with me now, I'm just gazing into this incredible, <laughs> her eyes are so full of light and love and it's, and and sort of determination and grit and all of those incredible things that you really do have inside oh, you. It's you're making me blush. <laughs> <laughs> well, to, you've already impacted lots of people's lives just by sharing your experience. And that's what's so powerful when you share your story and when you share your, you know, the feelings that you've had and the, and the nudges and all of that. It's yeah. somebody else is you know, benefiting from that because they're like, that, that. it's almost like, 
when you when you share your story from the heart, you're sharing other people's stories too. And there's going to be lots of people that are listening that will, you know, will know somebody or it'll twig something or inspire something else. But um, it has been such a pleasure to have you on the show. And I wish you every, every success in this fundraising and well, we're going to be with you the so whole much. way and we can't win and then we can get you if we get you back on again or whatever and you can keep us posted as to what's doing but we're going to launch it all on the facebook page yes as well yes so. this week so it will definitely be there and yeah thank you very much Bare necessities forget about your worries and your strife i mean the bare necessities or mother nature's recipes that bring the bare necessities of life Wherever I wander, wherever I roam, I couldn't be found off my big home. The bees are buzzing in the tree to make some honey just for me.